after Andrew got the phone call, he called me and I just burst into tears. And then obviously we found ourselves in a homeless situation. The letting agents rang me on the way home from my split shift at work and said, I've got some bad news and unfortunately the landlord wants to sell the house and wants it back in six weeks time. You know, I was thinking six weeks, well that's not long enough to find a property or save money for rent and deposit or anything. Um, so I didn't really know what to do or where to turn at that point. So everything you've, you, you, you feel that you've achieved is also just being taken away from you at the same time. And it wasn't our fault. I didn't choose to be homeless. When we went into private renting three years ago, when we first moved in together, it's all exciting, isn't it? And you never ever think that this situation is ever going to happen to you, and you feel you're secure, and I think that's the main thing, that it can happen to just about anybody. And then obviously we found ourselves in a homeless situation, uh, having to go through the council for help and support. And then when the council turn around to you and say there's only two people that can make you homeless, and that's a county court judge and yourselves, they're then putting it back on you that you've put your kids in that situation. I didn't choose to be homeless. That, that, I just think that's not fair, that's not right. Um, and then was put into temporary accommodation. If I had to give up work to be able to go into the temporary accommodation, to be able to drive the kids to school every single day. You don't know if where you're staying is fully going to be paid for, or whether at the end of your temporary accommodation you're going to get billed for thousands and thousands of pounds that you haven't got because of the situation you're already in. To feed the kids, we sold our furniture. You can't stay in a hostel with children when they're stag dues, it's just impossible. This house got put up on the Home Choice Cornwall Council website. Um, so after the bidding closed, I phoned Cornwall Council and I said, look, um, I placed a bid on this house. Could I have the contact numbers of who's involved with it? And then that's when I ended up speaking to Tamsin. I mean, she was brilliant. Within 20 minutes, we knew we had this property. No matter what you're going through, just knowing that you're going to have a key to your own front door is like 10 tonne of weight taken off of you. So you've got a housing association that are there and really willing to help you. But then on the other hand, what you've been told from the council, so you're going from one extreme to another. And what they did for us was give us hope. you know you're going to be able to give your children what they should have and what every child's right to have, which is a warm and loving home.